What is going down, Niners Faithful? Welcome back uh, to another video. So I seen a comment in uh, my last video about Jimmy Garoppolo expected being cleared by the OTAs. Um, and somebody commented, shout out to whoever that was. Uh, let me know in the comments down below who that was, uh, uh, who commented on that. Uh, but anyways, their question to me was, um, what will, what do, and I, I already answered the question. Um, I commented back. But he asked me um, what role uh, he thought, or what role did I think Jarek McKinnon would have once he comes back, considering the emergence um, of Matt Breida. Uh, that was a very, very good question. And um, let me just get this off my chest really quick. If anybody has any questions for me, um, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll make a video. Uh, if the question is good enough, and if the question is video worthy, I'll make a whole video explaining that question. Uh, but this question kind of caught my attention. It was a really good question. Um, but like I said, I already answered it. But for all for all of you who didn't check my comments uh, yesterday, this video is just kind of going to be explaining what I think uh, the uh, Jarek McKinnon's role will be. So as we know from Jarek McKinnon, tore his ACL um, after the preseason game, um, and, or after the first preseason game. Um, that following week, he ended up tearing his L, or tearing his ACL. Uh, it was a non-contact injury. Um, so, what do I think Jared McKinnon's role will be? Um, with Matt Breida, really in all reality, if you look at it this way, Matt Breida really could be a starting running back for this 49ers team if we did not have Jared McKinnon. Now, do I want, you know, us to release Jared McKinnon? Absolutely not, because we haven't even seen what he can do with Shanahan's offense, and he was a stud in Minnesota. Um, and that's why, you know, we gave him that four year, $28 million deal. Um, because I believe that we, the, the reason I believe we gave him all that money is because I feel like Shanahan, Kyle Shanahan has something in store and has like a surprise, um, and can use him as a lethal weapon, um, in, in many, many ways, uh, concerning that Jerick McKinnon is very versatile as a running back. Um, so the Niners really could use both backs, kind of like a Kamara and a Mark Ingram type. Um, and, you know, we've seen the emergence of C.J. Anderson on the on the Rams uh, these past weeks. Um, they're kind of, they kind of been rotating. So what do I think Jerick McKinnon's role could be? Personally, I think um, he would excel very, very well um, at the, at the, um, I think he'd sell very well at the screen, the screens, you know, the halfback screens and, and whatnot, things like that. Um, and with with Jarek McKinnon being another, could be another target for Jimmy Garoppolo next season off of those screens, I feel like if, you know, because we have really, in all reality, we can, we have decent athletic offensive linemen. You know, mcguinchy has been tough. Uh, Joe Staley can still get up there uh, despite how old he is. Um, and then, you know, we have, like, uh, Rich Burr, who's also a good one. Um, Persons is another good one. We also have um, Joshua Garnett. Now, you could argue that, you know, we need to buff up our interior offensive linemen, and that is one of our needs going into this offseason. But with athletic offensive linemen, you get better screen plays, considering that they can get in front, you know, they're, they're athletic enough and quick enough to get in front of the running back to clear their way. For the running back to see just green grass ahead of him, um, but I think Jarek McKinnon. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I think Jarek McKinnon uh, will definitely be used um, in the screen in the screen plays. Um, and the reason I think that is because if you look at it in his Minnesota days, he really didn't get. Uh, he got he got he had more screen plays with his um, with his style of play than he did you know zone runs or um, you know. Thing, things along those lines. Um, and I think that we could, hell, we could even use Jarek McKinnon as, I mean, we can use Jarek McKinnon as both, you know, a zone runner, um, um, you know, maybe even toss plays. Um, but I think Jarek McKinnon will excel very, very well um, at, at, at running screen routes. And, you know, Matt Breida does too. Matt Breida is a very tough player. He's very quick and Something about Matt Breida is when Carlos Hyde was on the Niners, I always thought deep down, and I didn't really address this um, on this channel, but I always thought deep down that 
Matt Breida was a more explosive back than Carlos Hyde was. And the reason I thought that is is be, or the, the reason I thought that was is because when when you would see, you know, Matt Breida get the ball, he was so explosive and he was so explosive and quick off the ball uh to get those yards. And with Carlos Hyde, you know, he kind of danced around, find the hole um and kind of made his way through to get get his yards. Now with Matt Breida, he would run explosive and hard play in and play out and I've noticed that and that's why I have so much respect for Matt Breida is because for one you know we even seen him had that 64 yard touchdown um I mean I the thing is about the Niners run game is that when we had Carlos Hyde now Frank Gore was a tank um I mean he would get off the ball and he'd run for you know 64 yard touchdowns as well but like you never seen really Carlos Hyde like of course he had those big runs but you never seen him in those in touchdowns um, he was more like a goal line type running back a power running back he really didn't have as much speed as Matt Breida did and that's exactly why I thought Matt Breida was always more explosive than Carlos Hyde coming off the ball um, so but yeah back to the question I really do think that Jerick McKinnon will excel best or his best at you know running screen routes um, but not only that I mean he, he can run he can come off the ball very explosive too. So having those two very explosive backs, if Matt Breida can stay healthy, um, I'm praying to God both of our running backs can stay healthy because, you know, at the end of the day, if you have two explosive running backs, I mean, one's tired, another stud goes in. Um, and then they come out, you know, just like Kamara and Ingram. Kamara gets tired, Ingram comes, Ingram, Mark Ingram comes in. And then, you know, um, uh, another thing, like C.J. Anderson over the past couple weeks. Todd Gurley's been, you know, tired. C.J. Anderson comes in. So it's always good to have, you know, two explosive running backs. And I feel like Matt Breida and Jarek McKinnon will be a perfect um, a perfect duo. Um, but who knows? That's what I think McKinnon's role will be. Um, I think he'll excel best uh, at running screens. Although, I mean... Matt Breida also excels, so they're very both versatile, so that's a good, um, we're in a good pos position with running backs if they can stay healthy. Um, but yeah, I, I say more like the screen routes, uh, the screen passes coming off the ball. I think he's very explosive coming off the ball. So, well, I, it's going to be a sight to see. Uh, we could even see him run up or line up as a receiver, kind of like uh, Kamara does uh, with New Orleans Saints. So. I feel like Jarek McKinnon will be used more for a, you know, screen route runner. Um, you know, maybe lining up as a slot receiver. Kind of things like that. But, um, yeah, that, that's just what I think. But, obviously, he's going to be getting carries as well. And he's going to be just as more explosive. So, we have a we have a treat for, um, for Jarek McKinnon. But, to answer that question, yeah. Screen routes, uh, maybe lining up as a slot receiver. And also, not only that, because uh, he's versatile enough to be, you know, coming off the ball and getting carries. So, with that being said, I'm going to watch this Pro Bowl Skills Showdown. And uh, with that being said, it's Niners 49 and as always, go Niners.